now I'm going to run off. We'll wait till we get some people on board, our first person on board. Welcome. So we're now going to go and do the team interviews. Please do catch up and Ricardo is going to be my first victim. <laughs> Hi Ricardo. Hi. How are you doing? I am tired. <laughs> aren't we all? Aren't we all? So come on in, tell us uh, what's, your, what's your team called? Uh, my team is called Team TP. Okay, and what's the business idea? Well, TP uh, wants to make lettings as easy as ordering pizza. Okay, so this is house lettings, yeah? That's us house lettings. And if you think about it, uh, it's really tough decisions when you order a pizza, uh, like choosing which toppings. Uh, we wanted to make it easy, really. Yeah. Um, to do the same for lettings. Okay. So imagine you are on a website. Yeah. You are at work, maybe. Uh huh. You trying? You may be trying to even find a place in a different city because you're moving to it. Uh, you don't have time to travel all the way, for instance, from Norwich to Cambridge, or Norwich yeah. to London, just to, to see a house. So your uh, agency or the landlord, yeah. uh, the private landlord, can actually uh, do a, a house viewing online virtually, kind of like Periscope. Uh, and then uh, you can interact, ask questions as you go along, which is fantastic. Um, and uh, besides that, it's completely free. Really? So any agency or any landlord can advertise for free, contrary to what Right Move and Zoopla do, does. And uh, there's no uh, strings attached. Is essentially uh, Right Move on steroids. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay, well, good cool. luck. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Let's hope. Right. So that was Ricardo. Uh, Swinney says hi, Ricardo. <laughs> okay. Right. Hi, guys. Can I have a team? Who's the team leader? Yes, please. Right, uh, this is second team interview. Right, hello, and who are you? I'm uh, Danny West. I'm hi, hi, Danny. So, what's the name of your team? Uh, Menulicious. Menulicious. Yeah. And what's the idea behind so, Menulicious, Danny? Menulicious is an app that's going to find the right restaurant for you. Yeah. Um, it takes you know the inconvenience of trying to find a restaurant for people with dietary requirements and you know price uh, implications out, okay. out of the experience because. When have you ever been in a group and you want to go out for a meal, but yeah. everyone's like, no, we don't want this, or I want that and that, it's like, you don't know where to go, so you end up bottling the idea. The idea of this is essentially for people to find where they want to go, where everyone can go and everyone will be happy about it. Yeah. But on the other side of it, it's also for restaurants to um, get away from the idea of Trip, trip Advisor and people leaving really bad reviews. Because uh, people in the restaurant industry they do everything they can for the customer, and even when they say, "Have you had a good time?" Yeah. they go, "Yeah, no, fantastic." They go home and they write a bad review, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, um, it's also going to then develop into a very like technical marketing tool. Um, okay. We're going to be able to use, so we can use analytical data, feed it back yeah. to the restaurant, so they can see what dishes are working, you know, what isn't working. Um, we're also going to give them an opportunity to. Uh, like promote offers and things that are going on in their restaurant for people that are looking at their menu in real time. So if we were looking on it now and think, where are we going to eat later? Oh, we could go to this place down the road. And then as we're looking at the menu, it pops up. Oh, by the way, they've got an event on tonight. Did you know? Do you want tickets? Do you want promotion? And uh, things like that. And the whole point of it is there can be no negative slurring of restaurants. Like it really does like hurt, and it, it really does tear the restaurant industry to pieces when people, you know, talk bad about it when like they're out of line. Yeah. So the whole point of this is you can only say positive things. In fact, you can't say anything at all, which is the best part. You can you can <laughs> like a dish, and right. you can you know maybe tell a friend you had that dish, but you can't say anything bad okay. about it. Well, some of the viewers are really giving that a lot of heart. So oh, brilliant. I think they like that one. All right, brilliant. Right, Thanks very Danny. much. Right, Cheers, good guys. Thank Thank you. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Right. Uh, next team, team leader. I recognise the team leader here. Right, what's your name? Uh, Peter Abbott. Peter, right. good to meet you, Peter. And what's the name of your team? Uh, well, we're Team Evoke. Evoke, okay. And what's the not... idea behind Evoke? Uh, so, the idea behind it is we're producing a playful application called uh, Mind Me. Remind uh, me, yeah. Mind Me. Mind Me, Mind okay. Me. Uh, in which we're exploring ways that we kind of remind ourselves yep. and bring things to mind in a very playful, uh, intuitive, tactile manner. Yep. Um, the idea behind it is it's kind of like a way to visualise what it is you have to do, uh, which isn't just lists of things and your phone constantly nagging you to remind you to do things. Um, our business model is kind of based around personalisation and uh, premium gaming a little bit. Okay, so you're going to gamify um, memory stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's very, very much. Right, that's nice. Okay, well, good luck with that. Fantastic. All right, right. right. 
let's go and find another one. Ah, right. Okay, for this one, uh, this is nice. So, this is the guys that uh, the young guys come up with this idea. Team leader, please, for your periscope interview. This is just behind you. Uh, okay. Hello. Hello. All right. Give us the name of your startup. And your name, sorry, first. I'm Sally, um, I'm Sally. and we're doing Sock Sacks. Sock 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 Sacks. Socks suck. Right, okay. Bit of a tongue twister. Get that one right on stage tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, our, our um, strap line is I present my wish list. Yeah. So it's a play on words on present, um, which, it, which is good. And basically, it, the idea is um, kids um, can go on this website and um, they can add um, items that they would like for Christmas or for okay, their birthdays. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, a link gets sent out to their parents and the parents or the family can um, come and have a look at it and tick it off. Right. So that's really? Socks Sacks. Okay. Well, we'll see more of that tomorrow. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. very much. Well, Tim, I think you're just getting in the way there. We're going to do the mentor's table. Right. So we come over to Proto Let's come over here. Okay. Hello. We'll let people know your name. I'm Dan. Hi, uh, Dan. And the name of the business, the the name of the business is Proto Norwich. Or Proto, Proto is, Norwich. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, what we're trying to do is take get local tech companies and yep. small businesses in Norwich and connect them with early adopters and people who want to try something new. Uh, again, in Norwich, so we're connecting early adopters, the community, the people who like to be ahead of the trend ahead of the curve and businesses so they can try out new ideas really quickly. So they're new business models, yeah, and new applications, new products, new apps. products okay. But it's not just tech products, no? Not just tech. We're focused on tech at the moment because in the environment we're in, yeah. in a room, we've got lots of tech companies. Um, but we want to, We from our surveys, we've had lots of feedback about people trying new menus and new food. Yeah. Um, so that would be cool if we could go down that route as well. So we're going to be talking to lots of cafes and uh, places down the, the, the lanes with lots of independent businesses up. Uh, see if we can get them on here as well. And we actually have a working project. Can they go to it? Or is can. it? It's at okay. protocity.meteor.com. Then you can comment on other apps and projects, yeah. upload them, or submit your own. All right. Yeah, I recognise that one bottom left there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks for that, Dan. Right, thank you. Right, uh, we come over to this table here, Chris. Are you are you spokesman? Uh, I suppose so. Yeah, yeah. Well, come on, then. Right. Okay. Uh, just give us your name. Right, I'm Alex Redster. Alex. This is Gorilla, and we provide uh, Wi-Fi networks on the underground or anywhere where okay. there is complete lack of service. Right, so, okay. So how, um, how, how's, that, how's that work, well, just really in basic terms? In basic terms, we use uh, devices, people's mobile devices, yeah. to uh, sync external content and then provide offline, in between tunnels on the train, we can right, offer okay. static commercial content, like yeah. uh, news from newspaper companies, and live uh, social media. So are you creating something like a mesh network? Is that what you're yeah, sort of creating? Yeah, a mesh network yeah. on the fly. On the fly. Brilliant, Alex. Well, good luck with Gorilla. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, the next team. Have we got a team spokesman here, please? Whoa, who's going to stand in then? <laughs> yep, yep, right. Well, that's only a minute anyway. Right, let's come in here. So what, what do you yeah, oh, just give us your name first. Okay, so my name is Prompto. Okay, and um, what's the what's the business? Okay, so basically, um, we're developing a digital system yeah. and a monitoring system for people who suffer with uh, memory loss. Oh, okay. So there's a sort of app for people who are the sufferers in the cells, yeah. in order for them to be able to receive notifications, reminders, things they need to do, uh, right. visit. So it might have like a photograph come up of the care yeah. worker that's about to visit them. 
then also like the close care or family member can receive a notification if um, the person hasn't done something. Well, that sounds good. And then also um, we connect with kind of care working systems as well, yeah. so like social work, etc., who can manage it their end and kind of see multiple people and set okay. tasks and put in medication and that kind of thing. Right, so, so big support for dementia. Yeah, big support for dementia and other things and memory issues. And All right, that's brilliant. Stuff. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Right, and now we've got the NHS table. Can I interrupt you guys? Who would like to give us a little overview of your your business? Okay. Right, if you could All give right. us your, your name. We're called docsdirect.org.uk. Docsdirect.org.uk. Exactly. Yep. So it's agentless NHS, saving us £1,900 per minute. Okay, so how's that going to work? Essentially, the idea is to take out the middleman. Right. So currently, a hospital employs temporary staff by yeah. going to an agency. Yeah. The agency finds the temporary staff, yeah. brings them to the hospital, and charges the hospital a fee okay. finding yeah. that staff member. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking out that agent just with an automated system through the website where the NHS will own. Someone at the hospital will click on the website, it will send a text message to thousands of doctors. The doctor contacts the hospital directly. Bye bye agency, bye saves bye agency. millions yes. and millions of pounds for the NHS. Brilliant. Well, good market disruptor. Oh, I like that one. Thanks, guys. Thank good, you luck. good luck. Right, okay. Uh, this is a very busy table over here, and I think I found our spokesman right in front of me. So, um, come on then, tell us uh, what's your team and uh, what's the business model? So, our team is called Gold Umbler. From a problem that I have that I think a lot of other people have as well, okay. where I love to cook but I'm not very good at it so I need a bit of help in the kitchen I need someone who I can talk to who can kind of show me what to do yeah. help me find recipes help me do the things that I want to do in the kitchen and uh, that's what Gordon Blur is all about so mm -hmm. he's an intelligent website I can go onto there and I can ask him questions and say hey Gordon you know I'd love to have um, chicken and lime tonight okay um, and, and you're saying this is how you're going to be speaking to it so is that is, that, is it going to be verbal or are you going to type this in Oh, oh, I see. No, it's, it's going to be it's a type interface. Right, okay. Uh, okay. We'd love to have, I mean, to begin with, of course, we have big ambitions for Gordon. We think he can go far. Uh, yeah, but to begin with, it's going to be a text a text okay. interface. Yeah, you should be typing these questions in. and but, he, but he'll feel like a real person. He'll feel like a guy on the other end of your computer that is cares about you and wants to help. Brilliant. All right, sounds good. All right, speak to you soon. Good luck. Right. Um, this team over here, everyone's got their heads down a bit trying to avoid me, I think. Who's the team leader? Uh, yeah. yeah, right, okay. Can you give us a sure. heads up about what your team's called and what you do? Uh, sure, so our team is the Zest team. So basically, we are here developing an app that will allow people to check in automatically when they get in a lecture theater. So for example, if we are a student, it's quite convenient okay. because it yeah. saves you the time to actually write down a spreadsheet. And also, our actual main product is actually allowing you to participate in the actual lecture and texting your questions yeah. and thoughts and basically get involved. And after that, you can actually get a vote from other people around that are actually seeing your question. And basically, make some some kind of social network based on the within location the base yeah. within the lecture. Exactly. Okay, brilliant. Sounds good. Yeah, All it right. sounds pretty good. It's getting pretty fine actually. So. All right, brilliant. Well, good luck with that. Thank Hope you. See you more tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Um, now this table over here, busy, busy, busy. Right, have we got a spokesman here who's being nominated? Sean? Yeah, why not? Ah, hello. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, what's the team and what's the business? Okay, so we are Team Unfold, um, and we're kind of building a thing around the news. So we are, oh, okay. um, we're crowdsourcing um, narratives around events as they occur, as they unfold. I should right, say, okay. that's so the name. Is this like an Apple News. Thing? Not Apple News, no. No, but, uh, yeah. but news. <laughs> right, right. No, I didn't mean as in news specifically, like their app, the Apple News app. Yeah, but within that kind of vein, but we're, we're kind of going to try and collate news across a different range of media okay, into so one not place just and kind the main of headlines. relate them based on topic yeah. and allow people to kind of, to kind of attempt to crowdsource the the most popular news, the most right, relevant yeah. news and kind of organise it in a nice, easy, digestible timeline. And that's, that's the goal. All right. Well, sounds good. I like yeah, that one. Are we good? And you've got lots of hearts there, but I think there might be some spiking the pot going Absolutely on in the background. Absolutely not. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. <laughs>
Yeah. Right, so, uh, and. and oh, so who's going to stand in for your team leader? That'll have to be. <laughs> I'm sure he won't mind. Yeah. Because we're live on Periscope. So. Okay. So, what's the team faces and what's yeah. everyday's faces? Um, it is a. It primarily at the moment is a widget that um, companies can put in on their websites to facilitate bookings but our vision is to create like a community of people who are all booking spaces like if you had a swimming pool you could put it on and then, or a tennis court or a big room you could hire yeah. it out um, like a big yeah. booking solution for areas particularly focus on small businesses yes okay so yeah. we're trying to get people so 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 a, a centralized booking system for a bit like businesses. Airbnb, but for right. not for bedrooms for big okay spaces. for everything else. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. All right, thank you guys. Thanks for right. Speak to you soon. Right, that's it. That is uh, no, it's not. Oh, I nearly missed one here, and he's over here. We apologise, guys. Right, and what have we got here? All right, so my name's Jordan. We're from Rentec, Jordan. and what we are is we're a comparison site that basically we work. Via a uh, with a budget to look at what luxury electronic goods are affordable for students. Yep. Uh, so with that, we can we've seen from our market research that a lot of people are finding that rent well renting is obviously affordable for these sorts of products, and we've found from our market research that students aren't actually aware of this. So that's how aim of Rentec is actually make it more. Um, yeah, to make it more readily available to these students and raise their awareness of it. Uh, we have found that there is obviously a growing market to access uh, rather than ownership. Yeah. So we, via this um, app and website we'll find that Rentec could actually grow, grow a renting culture Brilliant. within students. So, right. yeah. Well good luck with that Cheers. and hopefully you uh, get through tomorrow. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks oh, a lot. I'm not going to be here. So yeah, oh, you're right. <laughs> So he's not going to be here. Right, so that's it. That's all the teams. They're busy working away still and um, getting on really well. Have we interviewed you? I can't remember. Yeah. No, we haven't. Yes. Better luck to you. Right. We're eating. We've just got a hot Nando's. Yeah, well, very nice. So we're going to the food. Chicken and egg. Right, so we've got the last one in here. That's why I'm Because the team was empty. The table was empty because we're out getting food. Can we eat our food before we have an interview? This is live, so we're live broadcasting on the So We're live to the world. So could you. Give us your team name. Jesus Christ, the press are just. Uh, uh, That's uh, right. So, our team name is Zap, and yep. it allows you to uh, effectively connect to the Internet of Things devices yep. uh, around you. But instead of being stuck in this 2D environment, you can lift your phone up and actually see the devices in uh, through the camera lens. Oh, okay, brilliant. And so I can see, uh, you know, all kind of, I can see. Uh, we've basically got three uh, benchmark products that we're going to be launching. Um, one's a smart light bulb, one's a tracking device, and one's a plug. Okay. And they're all, they all work over our smart grid, and you can see them through, uh, through the smart grid. And then you can interact with them over the phone directly. Exactly, yeah. Right. One, one seamless, beautiful integration. Rather than be, being stuck in a studio uh, in an app, environment, yeah, yeah basically. Brilliant. Sounds fantastic. Enjoy your Nando's. Thank you. Oh, well, actually, is this yes. live now? Yes, it's live so now. So we are live. We just launched the site, and okay. uh, we're taking sales right now. We just right had now. the first one okay. coming in. So and if you want, so the site is zaptech.co. So spell that out for so us. So zap, Z-A-P, yeah. tech. T E C H yep. dot co zaptech dot co zaptech uh, yeah and you can uh, you can literally log uh, you go to the website you can you, we've got uh, the products are ready and available to check out as live everything's up and running so uh, whoever's wow. do we have any viewers or is uh, it like yeah 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 we've got a few viewers don't worry yeah, so if you're if you're on your desktop go to zaptech dot co um, and we'd absolutely love your support. I mean, really? I think we're probably the first team here to have a live website and live shopping cart. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, live shopping cart, definitely. Yeah, so if you could support us, that would be absolutely fantastic. would be right. really appreciative. We're trying to get, you know, a couple of dozen sales in before tomorrow's showdown. So thank Good you very luck. much, friends. All right, cheers. cheers. Enjoy your Nando's. Nice one. <laughs> right, so that's it. That's all the team's interview. So now they have uh, the rest of the evening up until yeah. about half past ten. To, uh, to carry on working on their businesses. Then back again tomorrow morning early, around eight o'clock or so. Um, and um, after that, we get down to... Um, so they'll be back 
um, here at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then after that, uh, they've got the rest of the day tomorrow up until around 6 o'clock, 6.30. Um, we'll start, uh, the judges will come in and we'll start the final pitches. They've got five minute pitches each and they'll finish off at seven o'clock presenting to the judges. So um, if you're in and around Norwich tomorrow, Saturday, uh, this Saturday, then uh, please pop in, it's free. Uh, Adnams are sponsoring the drinks as well. So we're down at the King Centre in Norwich. Uh, you can look that up online and come in and join us and see the final pitches. Thanks guys. Be back tomorrow with some more. Cheers. Bye.